haven't done a YouTube video in a while. I don't even know how long it's been, a couple of weeks maybe. But I went home to Scotland to see my parents. I was up there for a week. It was so lovely. Um, it was just a really nice break. I kind of just switched off completely. And I did have something filmed for YouTube prior, but it felt very rushed. And I don't want to put anything rushed on my YouTube. It just didn't feel great. So I love the idea. I think it was on um, Autumn Trends. And I might talk about it. I might do another video on it. But I just feel like it was just a bit rushed. It wasn't great. It wasn't up to the standard that I wanted to give you guys. Um, so today instead, I am going on a bit of an autumnal midweek getaway. Which I'm so looking forward to. I personally have been watching so much vlogs. Sorry, I'm just going to... I feel like I haven't brushed out my curls. There we go. I've been watching um, so much vlogs on YouTube. All about um, girls going on the autumnal getaways and I know I really wanted to do one so I'm so excited and I'm going with the brand duo boots and I think this brand personally is a little bit undiscovered I've known about this brand for a while because of a specific reason basically this brand does the most beautiful high quality footwear boots ever but what I love about them is they do petite regular and tall lengths which is fantastic if we're looking for one pair of boots in particular and that is the like knee high long longer boots basically and I'm five foot one and it's always been such a struggle I've actually personally never worn or owned a pair of boots because of this exact reason if you're petite it sits on a funny place if you're tall it sits on a funny place those boots are beautiful and an autumn staple but you guys will understand when I say it just doesn't work for petite and on top of that I've got my dad's legs. I've got strong, sturdy legs. And with that comes with bigger calves. And my calves just do not fit into, I don't know if I'm punching, clearly it's passionate about this topic. Um, they do not fit into regular boots. And what I loved about Dio boots as well is that there is like a whole online guide and it tells you how to measure your calf lengths and it can customize it. So I've got a pair, I've got two boots to show you in this video. I've got a pair of chocolate, uh, leather boots which you're gonna love it's more for like every day with a little bit of a heel because maybe me and a little bit of height and it's this beautiful chocolate leather it feels so smooth they're so stunning super excited this is the first time I've ever owned these type of boots and I just I'm so happy with them so I'm going away with duo boots just for one evening and we are going to Tutin Glen which I have been dying to go to and i have been manifesting to go to this place for years so i am so looking forward to going i just wanted to do a little introduction to the vlog because i don't know how much i'm going to be able to film but i hope i'm going to try and film as much as possible so you guys have a nice cozy little relaxing break with me and i'm not too sure on the itinerary either so i will take um you to everything and you'll be exploring it same time as me. Okay, I don't advise putting boots on the bed, but these are brand new, promised straight from the box. But as you can see, it's like this gorgeous, it's almost got a little bit of a worn in effect. And it is, I confirm, a super dark chocolatey brown. Like my polo neck today is black and that's brown. And I just think these are gonna wear so nicely. And then you've got a little of a block heel here, which is great for me. And then you've got this piece here which is so good for wider legs because it really helps to give you that like stretch in and then a beautiful like brass uh, zipper with jewel. That little gold embossing there is the most perfect little detail to remind you for your future boots as well that that is the width of your calf. So if this fits you that'll be the width of your calf and it's what you can use for all your other boots if you want to purchase any others. But oh my camera is going a little bit out of focus there but this is the most gorgeous pair of leather boots and I'm so excited to wear these today.
just pick you guys up I've got a little bit of time but I just wanted to give you a little room tour talk to you about where we're at just before I meet the other girls downstairs so it's a really lovely small group of girls and We've basically just hopped on the train from Waterloo and we've just grabbed a cab and now we're at Chewing Glen and it is so beautiful here. It has honestly outpassed any of my imagination of how I thought this place would look. I believe that it's a grade one or a grade two listed building um, and it's got all of the original features and characteristics and they've even got it all decorated for autumn. So it was so cozy here and I have the most stunning room ever it's currently the most gloomy rainy day ever but i low-key love it because that is giving all the all and cozy vibes but let me give you a room tour because this place is absolutely sensational firstly you know i appreciate a good little morning coffee set up we even got some little fruits and biscuits and i'm definitely gonna nap one of those what are they gluten-free oat and raisin cookies how delicious and there's little me and everything's all set up. I'm so, honestly, I'm very overwhelmed by this room. This has to be one of the most beautiful rooms I've ever stayed in. I've quickly just dumped my bag there. But you've got yourself this really cozy and warm looking reading nook. Which leads you out to this very charming little window with views of the ground. So I'm really hoping tomorrow it won't rain as much. So I can have a little spy and show you the views of the grounds. The artwork here is so beautiful everything is very very considered and then when you pan across this is a very spacious room you pan across and look at this massive bed for me i am so excited honestly guys i am spoiled i have never seen such a huge bed i cannot believe it and it is like that hotel crisp soft bedding that i absolutely adore and i actually haven't even checked the bathroom yet another little chair situation this will be gorgeous to have a little coffee listening to the radio but let's have a look i haven't looked at the bathroom yet oh wow oh my gosh okay guys i've just turned around double sink toilet situation all its own i've got a double sink <laughs> ah, sorry this is a lot i'm literally just taking it all in double sink gorgeous kind of like marble and granite mix it looks like could just be granite and then you've got stand walk-in shower absolutely huge and then this i'm definitely going to try and have a bath tonight look at the bath and again more of the glorious windows wow 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 but i don't want to keep the rest of the girls waiting so i'm going to take my jacket off hang it up to dry it's so lovely and cozy in here and all the staff have been so friendly and so lovely and when we came in i i got so excited i think i got the worst footage ever but there's pumpkins all around the front of the entrance i'm going to try and show you that tomorrow as well um so i'm going to take off my coat which i love by the way it's from mint bell i'll see if i can show you and put on a bit of a lighter mini jacket and then meet the girls downstairs and this is my jewel boots on i absolutely love them and i can confirm they are very very comfortable must show you really quickly this is so exciting <laughs> honestly i am beyond grateful this is so sweet dear chloe we hope you love your new freya boots looking forward to the next 24 hours ahead lots of love from the team at jewel boot oh my god i love it this is so cute and guys <gasps> oh sorry my my battery is flashing and it keeps going out of focus how sensational i'm gonna open this up and do a little unboxing on instagram a little behind the scenes of my boot unboxing but i just know the light is about to go now with the kind of darker nights drawing in and i still want to show you but how fabulous are these boots are these the most fabulous boots you've ever seen it's this like mock croc 
print effect in this gorgeous deep dark black and it's kind of that like shiny patent effect which I love and then the heel like this is an evening boot it's like a skinny little stiletto here which I absolutely love and then a pointed toe so I'll show you the full outfit on all together but they're my evening boots I absolutely love them but anyway I really am procrastinating and I gotta get going gosh I just realized I'm looking incredibly shiny in my camera but we've just had the most lovely bubbles and brush little masterclass which honestly for me personally was the most perfect late afternoon activity it really showed me how much I miss kind of art I used to do a lot of art back in school and then made me realize how much I miss doing arts and crafts and I was speaking to Nicole who was sitting next to me and we were both really into trying to make our masterpiece work and we just kept saying how much we're on our screens all the time that we always forget that we should really be taking our mind off and trying to pick up more hobbies that aren't involving a screen so that is something I'm definitely going to be doing but it was fantastic and our teacher was amazing and I've never done anything like that since school so I feel like it was really inner child healing. I'm back. Right, makeup on the go. I think I'm gonna need, so this is the foundation that I was talking about, I love. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Luminaire Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm using the shade Tawny. I love this foundation. It is amazing. You guys, forgive me, but I'm gonna go over the foundation I've already got on. I'm gonna do a deep cleanse tonight. But sometimes when you're in a rush, I'm gonna use this mirror above me. When you're in a rush, you gotta do what you gotta do. And you just gotta go over what you already have. Believe me, I'm not happy about it either. My skin is like, no, but the good thing about this foundation is at least it is so lightweight that it barely feels like I've got anything on. And I love it because it's just such a great color match and especially when I'm wearing tan, and it's so lightweight, it's unbelievably lightweight. And it's just, it looks like skin, which I love. I still want my makeup to look like skin. I want it to blend easily. I don't want to have to make it work. I just want it to blend easily. I swear, that was the fastest turnaround time ever. But I'm in my outfit. I've got my little rose from Mint Velvet, as you can tell. I work with Mint Velvet quite a lot. I just love them. I wear them on occasions. Every day, that's nothing to do with work. That's how much I love them. I've got my Arquette Cream Blazer on. I've got a satin skirt. I've got my jewel boots on. I'll show you in a second. I absolutely love them, but I've just done a really quick, smoky eye, peachy lip situ because I literally had no time. I was going to do lashes, and I was like, I don't have time for lashes. So this is the look for tonight. I still love it. It's still nice and dressy. But let me show you the boots. This sounds ridiculous, but I have no other way to show you. So I basically have the boots on. They've got this like gorgeous heel. They've never been worn, so I feel okay doing this. And the most beautiful like croc print on them. They're gorgeous and they're so practical because this is gonna keep you warm. And surprisingly, really comfy, considering you've got that heel there. These are so comfortable. It's that gorgeous shine to them just there, so. These make my outfit for sure. But this is the outfit I'm gonna wear tonight. So I've got my little like rose corsage on and my blazer from Arquette, little silk skirt from Arquette, and then I've got the jewel boots just under here as well. And they just add that like fabulous touch. I just think they're so cool. I also have a black bag that I'm gonna team with this whole look. But yeah, very simple, very safe with my cream blazer, but I was just unsure 
the vibe. Um, I just feel like this just works every time. But yes, we've got the loveliest group of girls and it's really intimate. I'm sure dinner tonight will be lovely. I wasn't too sure on the dress code, but I always feel like it's polite to overdress anyway, depending on the occasion. So I feel like I've dressed up for dinner anyway and I think the starter is some risotto. And then we have a steak for the main and then a lemon tart, I think, for dessert. So that'll be lovely. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm having the best time here. And like this is such a great reminder to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Obviously coming here, staying overnight, being with um, a bunch of girls I've never met before. Um, it can kind of trigger social anxiety, but honestly, it all works out in the end. And it's really good to kind of push yourself through these things. And I'm really thankful for dual group, dual boots to group us all together and let us all have this experience. It feels really special. Eventually it stopped raining. We can have a little look outside. Wow, it was a downpour last night, wasn't it? it really was. Wow. <gasps> look at this. chocolate brown short faux fur number I love it and I've got on my dual boot chocolate boots to go with it some leggings very simple outfit and then big old scrunchies I think it's called identity laundry maybe I'll pop up the screen if it's not but that's today's outfit very simple for our walk have a little walk get some fresh air especially in the morning it just starts your day so well and I'm really looking forward to the sound healing a bit later on as well I think that's gonna be a nice pairing but the nature and the countryside around here is so beautiful it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and everything's still looking very green I was thinking there might be a little bit more of an autumnal vibe but everything's still looking very green so Britain's nature is absolutely plowing on but breakfast was lovely I had a couple of pastries and coffee. I'm not a huge breakfast person, so I just wanted a little something. Um, and I'm just taking a walk around because I know there's tree houses here, so I'm just spying them. And then I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel and have a look at the grounds on the hotel as well.
vlog here because I know what I'm like and I know I can't take you to the sound bath um if I get good pictures depending on lighting stuff I can insert that but I won't be able to take you into the sound bath I feel like that would ruin the peaceful vibe and then we are literally traveling straight out, out after that but I really hope you've enjoyed coming with me I didn't know anyone on this trip so it was really nice to take you guys as my plus one with me that was really cute let me know if you like the style of vlog it's just like a little 24 hour one but I couldn't not take you here I've been wanting to go to Chewton Glen for so long and it really is the ultimate autumnal beautiful little hidden gem so if you do get the chance or you're lucky enough to come here for like a very special occasion I would highly recommend it the staff has been amazing and I also want to say a massive thank you to Jewel Boots for inviting me I absolutely adore the boots anyway I think the whole inclusivity message is absolutely incredible and the quality and the craftsmanship is beautiful so I feel very lucky to have come to this really intimate trip away so thank you so much you've got a massive fan in me and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this little autumnal vlog and I cannot wait to see you guys all in my next video Mwah. speak soon